Hey guys, welcome back to the Jazzy Podcast. We are back with another episode, and today we have a special, very, very not special guest. Special guest. We are not professional. We don't have an intro for you. We don't have any introduction, no bio for you at all. So, would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> we're that profession. We're that podcast. Period. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not lie. Um, I don't know. Are you nervous? You're ready. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Genuinely, if you do not know who she is. We are with the on, the one and only Nelly Cuevas, sister of Natalie Cuevas. Uh, Damn, uh, that was supposed to be cool. Hold on, hold on. I'll redo that shit. Oh, oh god, I hate. We this. don't have our we don't have our sound keys named or nothing. So You're it's just random every you should time. Should probably name them. I'm gonna name one. You should Ram- probably name them. I'm gonna name one Ramble. <laughs> No, I'm trying to make you like get into the mood, okay, you know? Stop. I'm trying to get you, you into like. Weren't you the just the one being oh, depressed as fuck? Guys, we like, were just arguing so hard off court, like no, off camera right now. That was, <laughs> Dude, no, my, Nat I, was arguing. Me and Jacob were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> tell him Nat, tell him what happened with all the tripods and stuff. Dude, I'm just so tired of you, Jake. Like it's because Jake breaks a tripod every other Dude, episode. it's just we talk about these damn tripods every podcast. And every time we get off of the set we get off of the filming right next time we're on it's the same damn hey, issue production teams right now are taking notes fat notes they're gonna buy the most expensive tripods and show them to us they're gonna be like and no. we're gonna be like one million dollar deal sign that contract and no go. no you won't you're gonna ignore it and we're gonna be pissed as fuck next <laughs> thursday it is the worst guys we literally like the one nelly's using right now this is a tri- our first tripod okay it broke take it back to i don't know not that long ago we just started but this was our first set of tripods we got rid of the other two broke. <laughs> this one was missing a piece. Oh, you, it was just so bad. Okay, so this is first generation? This second, second generation? generation and, and third, third generation. generation. <laughs> Suppose now I got the best one. Dude, no. I think that the best generation was probably the ones this, you have. Yeah. No, the one that she has. This one's had a lot this of one has like a. This one has like a... This one sucks. It's my oh, face. they're just all shit. They're all shit, and they're all expensive, which is the most annoying part. Regardless, we just had a huge little argument off camera because... We or you? You. Okay, you <laughs> guys need to understand. Yeah. It is so annoying. Oh, it was fun. It was comedy for me. Me too. No, it was not. Guys, me I've had three. the worst day of my entire <laughs> life, and these assholes think it's so funny. They thought, oh my gosh, they came home with a matcha that tasted like straight Ass. It I was, was a $12 matcha yeah. with all her added extra uh, goat milk. So Bro, goat milk. <laughs> the extra pennies it cost just to freaking the little goat. Bro, it was $12 for that and you dumped it down the drain with a dishwasher. I mean, uh, whatever that thing's called that doesn't work. What's that called? Our garbage disposal. Our garbage broken. disposal doesn't work, bro. Jacob, our life is just going to shit. I'm so mad. Dude, press I was that, trying to press wash. Press that button. If you press that button, you won't even hear no, nothing. No, nothing. I tried to. I literally almost broke my nail. So uh, we have a little button for our garbage disposal, and it just doesn't work. Oh, I'm Nelly, just, I like your nails, bro. Your nails oh, look me so too. so I fire. Wonder who, I wonder who else likes my nails too. I wonder who else copied them. <laughs> you guys too. I'm so Show them done. your nails, Nat. I'm so <laughs> done. <laughs> Whatever. Nat's, okay. Nat's always the one that get copied. Now she's the copier. Yeah, dude. I had to literally play by their game. Like for <laughs> the first time in my life, I had to play by these assholes' game. So here we are. You know, I, co- I had to copy Nelly on the one time for the one time. Broke my nail. Um. Anyways, we are here with the famous Nelly. Um. We just went on a huge ramble, famous. but. We are Nella refers to herself as famous, so that's why I use that I didn't word. Say that. Yeah, because oh, you get you, you get too. bullied. You get bullied for being famous at school. I said by I the get, juniors. I said I get. Bu- <laughs> I said I get bullied for having a famous sister. No, no, no. She's you said famous. I get bullied for being famous, huh, Jake? Back me up I here. You yeah, saw you, that footage. I seen that footage. Why are you lying? I seen that footage. Why are you lying? Anyways, regardless, who's famous? So you we guys are lie. no. You guys are here because you clicked on that title. Of the T, y'all. I don't know what the title is, but yeah. If you're my parents, stop watching, right, Neil? Okay, yeah. If you're my parents, like, why are you watching this? Go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. So. Vete a dormir. I know that a lot of people always click on these podcasts, and I feel like this is what people do. They'll be like, "Tell me your life goals. How was your life growing up?" And I, that is so. I skip through it every single time. So we're we're just going to the T. We're going for the T. So talk to us about Joel. (laughs) (laughs) Oh shit. I've never talked to Joel. The only time I've talked to Joel is when we went to Ranging Waters. And and they were in bathing suits. Oh, ah! shoot. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Y'all invited me. No, y'all she was trying. so happy to go, y'all. Because 
because she never she didn't talk to me that whole summer guys yeah now i was busy yeah I, mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i was busy yeah, so busy i was so busy. okay you lie okay Friends you always lie. throw these statements out there with no context if i don't speak to like if i go ghost from you for a few months then i had my reasons Stop and you know table. i did stop hitting the table huh stop i'm not hitting, hitting it yes, do you guys did. hear it i heard a all right, we're on the Joel oh. topic, though. All right. Yeah, for real. So look, look, listen, 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 listen. Hypothetically speaking, if there's a scale one to ten, and then there was a kid named Joel Macias, where would he go on She's that gonna scale? She's going to say zero. No, and be honest. Me. This is a podcast. You can't lie. If you look at you sw- solemnly swear I to sol- say nothing but the I truth. Solemnly swear, oh, I solemnly swear to tell nothing but the truth. All right, all right. Joel, Joel <laughs> look at, look at zero. Zero's right here. Ten's over here. BMS is you can put it all the way over there. What? BMS. Bro- BMS with the hard eye emoji broke my scale. I thought that <laughs> meant like, bless my soul. Fuck. What? Y'all were that, you were that cringy mother <laughs> trucker, I hate huh? you. Bless Napa, my soul. Napa live, love, laugh. <laughs> Napa put her 11, 11 <laughs> as. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I hate you guys. <laughs> All right. So look at that scale, that imaginary skale. Imagine it. And then you Putting see Joel's Joel beautiful self. Yeah. Hmm. Be honest, though. Be honest. Honest, 100%. Yeah, my parents aren't watching honest. I'd give him a five. <laughs> For real? He's, he's not, he's like not the ugliest, but he's not like. Not the ugliest? He's like not my type. Oh, he's not yeah. your type. No. All right, so. Why are you lying? So I know s- her type. I like, oh. It's Joel Macias. Nah, her no, type, her type like, she likes uh, guys with long hair. Yeah. Joel's a cuh, to be honest. Yeah, Joel's a cuh. And he dressed like one, too. My boy dresses good, though. He could dance. He dances good. On that. Crickets. Put the crickets. the crickets. Put the fucking wait, wait, wait. crickets. It's this one, right? Wait, no, 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 no. This one. Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, that one works. That one works. <laughs> Literally that one. Um, yeah, so you you don't want to talk more about the history? We need to about dive history? in. So I'm going to give wait, a timeline here. No, I feel like in the beginning, there was like some tension. No, in the beginning, there still is. That's why. Let me give some timeline here. Tension? So... <laughs> These okay, so it all that's started. Not my, that's not part of my hey, memory. Hey, listen to this. They need no. to know the, the context. What, she, she what only, context? She only knows I want to know the context. Okay, so when when it first started, we met Joel. I met Joel when Joel was fourteen. Okay, Nelai was like 12, 11. Okay, young cell, right? <laughs> so there was like nothing Pedo really shit. there, and then isn't it pedo? Pedo. <laughs> what do you call him? A okay. pedophile? You call someone a pedophile or yeah, a pedophile? Shut up. You always, whenever Nelly's here, you get so ballsy. Pedo. <laughs> Nelly, stop kicking me. So you're Anyways, underwater. You're, you're underwater getting. No, no, no. Listen, so you're underwater no- getting attacked by China or some shit. <laughs> China? And you, see a, and you see a fucking old man on the water, a torpedo. You see a torpedo. No. <laughs> you ain't gonna see an old man swimming at you with his freaking picture, his camera out. <laughs> <laughs> He's got. I can't. I can't. Hey, I'd rather have a torpedo chase me than a torpe- torpedo. <laughs> <laughs> torpedo. <laughs> Imagine. Breaking news. China coming okay, out with torpedo Yeah. Files. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. That would cause Oh, my free. gosh. <laughs> Going on to the Joel. See, you guys. Nelly loves this. This is just crying. She's crying. God. <laughs> <laughs> Nelly's crying. Since we're on the crying. Are you talking about Joel? Is that why you're crying? No, I'm laughing, you goofball. <laughs> She I literally mean, LMAO'd. She, <laughs> Look at her. Uh, <laughs> you know when you when you text and you put the cry emoji? That's her, bro. Um, <laughs> anyways, can we move on to the Joel thing? You guys are straying away from it. No. Go, yeah, let's we go. gotta expose them because people always are like, uh, oh, Joel and Nelly. Right? So it started off as nothing. And then Joel started, you know, being Joel and started throwing his little little like you know, like little thingies here and there. And then he would make little references to Nelly on his videos. And then it got worse. And now they're at the point where whenever they see each other, they act, huh, babe? They act like a certain way. Like, are, you, are you going to my birthday party? No. no. She's she, so mad. Dude, I text, Look how mad she listen, is. Listen, listen. I told her I'm going to be in a quinta January 11th since October. So she would make plans around it. And she, she made the plans on the 11th. That's on some fake shit. I don't even have school on Monday. We could have done it Monday. Damn. Asshole. I think I'm busy on your day. Can I the- really talk? About, no, do not say that. She told me I have a quince on the 11th, right? And she was already going to the damn practices. So it's not like she could have fucking left. And then she's like, oh, I have a quince on the 11th. You don't have anything for Jake, right? And I was like, well, I don't know. That's like a year away from now. Well, so that's I don't why know. I told you a year away from there. Sorry, bro. I think I'm going to be busy. Um, we're busy on her, her quince day, no? For real. We're, we're going to six, real. Flag, six Plus, flag day. that's like your weekend. How's she mad? 
Like that's, that's your week. You're week. not even going the Sunday. No, she's not because she's gonna be busy with her quince practice. With her court. You oh cut up. I listen, know with her listen, court. Listen. Hey, talk about. Let's talk Ejection, about your court. Ejection. Let's talk about your court. <laughs> we could have done it Sunday. Hearsay. What? The party. I don't have. Where at your, house? at your house? At your house. At your house. Bitch, on a Sunday people work. <laughs> on a Sunday. On a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, they work on the Monday. Oh, like that's so? Sunday parties don't get are draining. Up then. Don't get fucked don't up. Don't go in quinces then. Exactly. I told you in advance then. No, anyways, I'm gonna put Jake's um, birthday weekend first, bro. Sorry about it. So Who's yeah, Nelly's said, bro. Who, how are you turning 15 on the day I'm turning eight, eight, 20, bro? Come on. If you're 20, you're old as fuck. <laughs> old ass motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. I want coke in the water. Thank you. The f- <laughs> where do we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the blue one? Can I test out the yeah. blue? Go. She's pushing all these buttons. A knife comes behind you. <laughs> oh my gosh! I need. I need to go. Stop to touching these damn buttons. Okay. Can we move on to the next topic? Turn up. Oh, you fucker! <laughs> all right. Anyways, moving on. Dude, we're the like most unorganized podcast. I like. I know, and there's just so much cussing on this podcast. It's so bad. We need to stop. Oh. If your family's like mine, they don't like cussing. I'm so sorry, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, cousin, whoever's in the background they don't like getting cussing. mad at the cussing, dude. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we apologize deeply from the rest of our. I don't apologize. Songs. Cancel Damn. her. Cancel her. I'm canceled. just kidding. No, nah, fuck you. canceled. Canceled. Yeah, cut her fucking mic. Right, anyways, now let's get it. Yeah. So continue with the Gentle Tea Podcast. <laughs> Put her. <sighs> My light meter's to the roof today. Oh. <laughs> You're your, the one your, that invited me over. I was peacefully sleeping at my house. What's your Jake meter? That shit, uh, that shit been fucking. That BMS. <laughs> BMS. <laughs> Bless my soul. <laughs> you guys are so mean. You guys are so mean to me. Oh. What's the next topic? We're here for the tea, Nelly. Are you dating someone? No. <laughs> I blessed my heart. And so- Wait, what is it? Have you had it? No, all right. We're going to go take it slowly, slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go slow. Let me get comfortable. I'm not comfortable. I'm very hot. I said, let me get comfortable. Take off your sweater then. This is the Jaddle Tea. Tell her to turn on the AC. This is the Jaddle Tea podcast. You're the T. We're the Jad. She's the Lee. (laughs) I'm here asking some questions. I mean, it's not an interrogation, but it's going to sound like it. It's going to sound like it. All right, ready? No. How many boys have you kissed? (laughs) Damn. Ooh. Why are you lying? God. She don't got game like that. Stop. <laughs> Why are you lying? Yeah, you're not your sister. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> I am exposing that. I'm exposing that chip. Damn. Mm. Okay. Anyway. Okay. No, no, it's because Nat got game. You got game. That's how you pulled me. Oh. That's how you pulled me. You're like a deaf woman. What if I fall off the chair like Tito that one time? <laughs> <laughs> Continuing with the next fucking question. Ask her some questions. Some no, so how many guys have you kissed? You don't answer it. I think it's three. Let me see. I'm gonna say a solid two. Two? Two. How you 14 three. got three kisses? God damn. Three, Nelly? No. How two. many? She'd be two. listening to Summer two, right? City, City yeah. Girls. City Girls up. <laughs> that's a two. That's your she motto. Two. I figured it. Okay, oh, so it's two it's or three. Nat knows my 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 life. Unlike some her people. Thought could you forget. <laughs> wait what is it two or three so dude you know what's the craziest part that i already like i want to dive into things with you on this podcast but the fact that you still go to high school and you're gonna see the people that we're gonna talk about and then what like, if she has like future boyfriends watching this podcast guys we're gonna talk Nobody about cares. Names. oh we gotta get over we're it we're gonna talk huh? about code names code names so you know but they're gonna know be- who it is Oh. Like the Who pers- cares if they're gonna know? And they're, Dude, because everybody they else already not- throw shots on social media. So Nelly oh has. Oh my god! Okay, so let, let's. You want to dive into that? All right. The, the first one is Mordecai. The second one is Rigby. Is there a third one or a fourth Rigby? one? Rigby. Yeah, what the fuck is Rigby? Okay, can we? Can- All right, mus- Mordecai, Rigby, Muscle Man. What's in- Jake? Pops. They're gonna hate us. Can we get into the tea, please? <laughs> we got the regular show over okay, here. Okay. <laughs> so no, Nelly. Do you want to talk about that, or do you Mordecai? not talk about that? She oh wants to talk about it. She Are told we me. using these lame ass names right now? Mordecai. Wait, Mordecai's no, that's Mordecai's, the first one. That's old news. Mordecai's first one. eighth grade, but I don't think there's much tea about Wait, that. Who are we talking about? Fulano, 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 Fulano. Fulano one, Fulano two, Fulano three. All of them. That's that's the nicknames. The one, two, three, Fulano? and four. The one God. talking shit. Oh, oh that's that's Rigby. Oh, that's Rigby. Yeah, that's Rigby. Yeah, that's Rigby. Okay, Rigby. Because isn't that number two? Anyways, Rigby. 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 Rigby.
I don't care. Damn. Damn. Wait, because hey, hey, like your 14 year old you yell call, support? When, when you call no, in like two I hours, know. take that off the podcast. Please. I know. Cut it out. Cut it out. My, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hang up. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's start off with um, <clears throat> number one. Mordecai. So. Mordecai. Jacob, please stop. <laughs> oh they, my already, they already know Mordecai, Rigby, Muscle Man, and Pops. There wasn't Pops. Pops. There's no Pops There's yet? There's no Pops yet. Oh, okay. Then. Well, there is. That one guy. Oh. Bro, he's all news. But Pops was barely in the picture. Yeah, he was like for a day. Okay. Anyways. So, first guy, is he still dogging you at school? Remember? No. Is that his name? Yes. Oh, not no more? Yeah, she looks at me a lot, and I'm like... Well, didn't he get a girl right after you? Yeah. Oh, that's that's more. Do you want to talk about your first breakup? We can talk about that. No, I wasn't heartbroken over any breakups until the most recent one. Golly. How long was the, how long did that <clears> one last? <throat> it honestly wasn't the longest one, and it broke my heart. That's the ones that Bro, be hurting the most, huh? I'm not depressed no more. You, should I say it? You can say it. You got an ugly-ass haircut. God, it's all right. Boys live and learn. Bro... I'm that's not trying to defend. I'm not trying to defend. That's the best thing though, he could have done for your mental health. Yep. Yeah. So your first breakup, it wasn't like, um, like something that really, really hurt you. Yeah. None of them hurt me. Can you hear Stop me? Stop the cow! I watched that video, I bro. I remember too. Too. the most recent one. Oh. No, no, no. Wait, like, but I remember. Me, yeah. I remember the first breakup. You were still sad about it. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. The first Do you one? forget? Yes. I wasn't like like this? No. Well, you weren't like super sad, but you were sad. I was sad, And obviously. then you were mad, I think. I was mad. I was more yeah. mad than sad. You were mad. This him. recent one, I was sad. Okay, so, and then the second one, you were just thriving. There you go. 100%. So the second one is the most recent? No. Damn, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm missing three. a big picture. All right, all right. My bad, my bad. Yeah, so. um, Okay, <laughs> so first breakup wasn't bad, so you didn't really learn how to cope with a breakup with the first one, right? Yeah. Wasn't the best lesson? No. No. It wasn't. There was no lesson to learn, to be honest with you. Yeah, there was. Like, just don't trust Man's me. Man's was an L. That's what the lesson was. Yeah. That Okay. And Anyways. you were really young. You were too young to... No, like, yeah, you you were just young. Okay. Anyways. So, what's Wait. your first kiss? Yeah. Damn, I can't believe you're talking about this on the podcast right now. I'm just kidding, guys. I've never had my first kiss. Yeah, she's never had a first kiss. For, so, le- for legal reasons and parental parental guidance, she's never had a first yeah. kiss. Yeah. Okay, so, I just, like, I feel like we could sit here and be like, what's your advice for people? Da, da, da. That's so I boring. So I don't got no advice. Tea. Um, <laughs> she's going through it still, that's why. Okay, so, huh? What? She's going through it still? Yeah. Yeah. Would you say you're still going through your breakup? Bro, I'm going to get gas. It's okay. Bro, in a couple months, you're not going to be going through You're going to be with another guy. Yeah. Happier. Are you calling me a hoe? Yeah. Are you cold? You're hot, aren't you? Exactly. A hoe never gets cold. <laughs> now, are you cold? Hey. <laughs> now, she she's in a... I'm we're married. We're, we're married. See? We're not married. So I have a really good question. Do you regret like your first kiss and everything? Like all that stuff? 100%. Really? Oh, so I was editing Nat's video. What? How did that happen? You said that it was like a very like, you don't want to talk about like it's like a discreet place. Did he kiss you in church or something or what? (laughs) (laughs) It was just an awkward place. He did it like in like. In the hallway. (laughs) We were walking out of school and he did it. And I was like, you're nasty. You're nasty. He couldn't like. In middle school? Yes. (laughs) My boy couldn't wait till the bus stop or what? Right. Wait, so you guys were walking out? Mm-hmm. Not Dude. giving us the details, bro. Can I'm you not please go in detail? No this is the podcast, I'm gonna Natalie. Get exposed. I mean, Nelly. Okay, so you guys had just met up after seventh period, sixth yeah. period, whatever the fuck. And you were walking and you were leaving. Mm-hmm. And you just had your first kiss? Yeah. And then you just walked away from no, each other? he walked me to the car. Well, like, not fully to the car. So to he, the car? My your mom's, mom's car? car? No, my mom's car. Pa's car. Oh, Paso? Yeah. No, Paso didn't see. He like, oh. okay, so you know where like the ice cream truck? He like leaves me a little bit behind there. Oh. I didn't even know there's an ice cream truck in this. <laughs> oh, shit. So when um he gave you your, the whatever, you guys had your little kiss and then you walked? Like nothing just happened? Yeah. Was it awkward like the next day you seen them? No? No. Even after that? Yeah. That's too normal for you. For my first kiss, I was awkward. I never. Me too. I kissed the girl well, and I, mean, then we I were, never seen her again we in my were, life. We were, oh, that's on some whole shit. 
<laughs> oh, like, it I, is. Yeah, I was awkward too. I, I we, was I awkward mean, though. We did talk for a little bit, and then like when we were oh. in the car, like uh, we're not in the car, but like oh, that must. Have been wait, awkward. wait, no lie. After when you in the car, like oh, did you? Did that really just happen? No, oh no, my no. God, she did texted. You like him. It? I should have hugged you too. I should have <laughs> kissed you more. I should have. She texted him that. No, I didn't. Not the first kiss with him. Oh, the second one. You're like, yeah. we, we should have used. Good. Jacob, <laughs> we should have tongue kiss. Next time, let's use tongue. <laughs> it was a peck. I think that's, uh, all, I think that's everybody's first kiss, though. If your first kiss is not a peck, you're that's wild. Not, then you're that's not wild. your first kiss. No, yeah, that's not. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's kind of wild. Uh, Y'all need to stop. Wait, 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 wait. I know this is about Nelly, but I want to know about your first kiss. Yeah, you never told me how it was. Kiss. Yours, too. We literally told, talked about it like two podcasts ago. No, but you didn't like go into description yeah. like her. No, you know no, what you she didn't? told me? She told me she was like, oh, it was an accident on my first kiss. It was. That's what I told them too. Well, you bumped into him or what? Yeah. No, you so, didn't. Yes, I did. I was trying to go for a hug, right? And oh, then a yeah. kiss on the cheek. And then were you guys dating? On the cheek. Huh? <laughs> this bitch. Well, yeah, were you at least liar. dating? No. Yeah. Mm. She said that we we're just friends. Whoa. No. Yes. No. No. Natalie, I think exposed. it was like either we weren't dating or we had just started dating. Nah, you know. kissed me when we weren't dating. I remember. Y'all are some hoes. Yeah. Not Jake, we me. were fucking seventeen. It's different. <laughs> it's not, so yeah, not different. Fourteen like you, bro. Yeah, bro. No, Kissing. she was thirteen. Thirteen. No. Yes. Yeah. When I was thirteen, had ass. I had my first kiss. Literally. <laughs> but I think thirteen is at like a right age to have your first kiss. Not a right I age. Everybody's it. different. But. I regret it. Whenever oh. you feel like it, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, why do you regret it? Because it was like, we broke up in like two months. Yeah. That first kiss was not worth it. Longer than the second one. <laughs> 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 okay, so You're you want to tell them how many relationships you've been in? Because we've just been talking about this, this, and that. And you I've haven't. been in three relationships. One I've only taken serious. Within the past year. <laughs> two years. Oh, two years. Are you sure it was two years? What was that? That's my Alexa. Oh. Wait, two years? Yeah. Whoa. Well, that shit. It's 2023. Nelly, you're a freshman, no? Yeah. No, from eighth grade to ninth grade. That's one year. That's no, one year, bro. Yeah, what are you talking year. about? Mm hmm. Because was it at the, the Nelly, beginning? It was probably the beginning of, I mean, the end of eighth grade. That's like one year, bro. Oh. Because it's not, it's not even the next so, summer yet. Yeah. yeah we haven't bro. even hit Whoa. the next summer. Three guys. She on a roll. She's going for no. the kill streak. I, no. Did you see like your relationships getting in the way of you doing YouTube? No. No? At all? Mm-mm. So, like, because I remember, like, the other I've week. I've only been in one relationship where I was doing YouTube. Because I remember one time you were telling me, like, um, I feel, you, I don't know if you said you feel bad or something, but you were saying that he, you weren't texting him back or whatever because you were editing and he would get mad. Was that true? Or he wouldn't get mad. He would just be like, why are you lagging on me? And it was just because I had, like, a combination of, like, soccer, homework, and, and the other thing. But I would also get mad at him because he would lag because he would go to soccer and stuff and, like, lag on me for hours. And. I'm not hating him or whatever. So, wait, were you trying to get back at him? Like, a little bit? When? Like, by not answering him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you oh you did it purposely? 100%. The oh, petty game? Shoot. Yeah. It got oh. me mad, dude. He would leave me on hours, on um, delivered for hours and hours. But if you really liked him, wouldn't you, like, respond fast? I would. But when I w- when the pettiness would get to me, I wouldn't respond fast. Do you regret it? Getting petty? Getting petty? Yeah. No. What? Okay. So, do you think that if you wouldn't have got petty, you that relationship wouldn't have ended? No, it wasn't that I got pet. Well, oh, wait. Mm, why? Maybe. Why did your relationship end? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. That's how you know you're the problem. If you don't know, <laughs> that, you're the yeah, problem. Yeah, you're definitely the <laughs> fucking problem, Nelly. So, all right. So, going to the last days, what, what was going on in the relationship? What were the in problems? In the last days, it was on Christmas break. So, we weren't talking with each other that much. God. The rabies, the germs. bro. I'm telling you. Nelly always got the fucking Anyways, rabies. Um, basically, it was Christmas break. You know what? Like, over Christmas break, you don't get to see him. Because, like, during school, we would always see each other, like, passing period. Like, he would walk me to class and stuff. Was that was that the reason? Because you guys weren't seeing each other? Or that, and it also, was that deeper meaning? He also said that it was, like, too much for him. And Damn. Then he just that's, a, that's a sack of shit. That's a big yeah. old sack of shit. There's Honest, something more there. No, yeah. honestly, that would be hard. Because imagine you're in high school, you're having a relationship, but you can't post him. That would suck. That, like, I, if Jake, I was a boyfriend. What are you talking about? That's the biggest fucking cap. Do you remember what happened? What? The red flag thing that happened? Remember? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. But saying that she was. Which we don't, we're not going to say mm, on here, but do you remember that? But say that she didn't have a platform that she has and you're not posting your boyfriend. So like, No, from, I think that, that you're taking it to a very different meaning and you're and cutting too much slack posting. for that person. We would hang out at school like every day. Yeah. It's not like I was hiding mm-hmm. the fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just, I just that's and what I was he to get wasn't to. hiding it. I yeah. mean. Oh, yeah. He wasn't hiding it. That's my, 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 that's my, no, I was kidding. 
I'm not gonna. No, defend but that should have been like that should have been a really really big um red flag when that one thing happened. Yeah, when that one thing happened, that should have been a red flag. We could talk about it. I'm down. No, if you're down. I'm no. not down. Nah, this guy's it. gonna be all fucking weird. No, we're just gonna talk about it. Cool. But <laughs> huh? I was gonna say Kulo Wang when she. No, he's gonna be like really weird about it. Um, yeah. so would you say that um? If you weren't petty, probably that relationship would have... Which I'm really glad that relationship ended for you. Um, just because of what had happened and stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't think that like someone... That's, that happened because he always had that in his, in his thoughts. Like, in the back of his head. You get me? Are you talking about something different? I think he's talking about something different. I'm talking about on the story. No, we're oh, not talking about yeah. that. Oh, I'm not talking about that. The, the, the yeah. relationship ending. If I wasn't super petty, would it still have ended? And mm. I think if... Because during the last days... He wouldn't text me, and I wouldn't text first. So, like, we would go, like, two days without texting. and then Oh, I, shit. Either I would give in or he would give in. And then on the last day, I, you know when you know it's going to come? Mm-hmm. I already knew that. And then he was texting me. He was, like, I don't know if he was trying to gaslight me into breaking up with him because I think he, like, felt bad. But I don't know. And then he just ended up breaking, and he was like, we should be friends. Oh, he broke up with you? Yeah. <sighs> No, like I think every guy you've been with has broke up with no, you. No, I broke up with. There's you. a common denominator here, and I'm, I'm not going to I'm telling say you, <laughs> I broke uh. up with him, the second guy. That's crazy. So right when you guys broke up, was there like immediately another guy, or you're still like? No. There's no one right now, at all. You don't have your eyes on nobody. Jeez, jeez, Williker. That just that, that one just hurt. changed. That one did hurt. That relationship. Yeah. yeah, I think that you're still healing from that, and I don't think that you should move on to anything else um, until that relationship is completely sealed. I know, I know, like, some girls' waves of, uh, like, healing is getting the other guys, like, getting other attention really fast. And then, you know, mm. one, one of them works. You get yeah. me? Yeah. But for me, it's, like. I feel like you have too much on the line at that point. You're not, you're not, like, normal. Your platform is really important to you, and you have so much to lose. Yeah. That, and also, it's just, like, I don't want to get attached to anyone else, because that one hurt. Oh, yeah. Imagine that again. Yeah. But worse. Suicide. That's crazy. I remember me and Nat, when we first started dating, like, I mean, talking, there was a lot of hardships, remember? Because y'all were long distance. Yeah, especially long yeah, distance. but we were completely different. I, I remember mm-hmm. one time she said that um, you wanted to go on her phone, but she still hadn't deleted her shit, so she didn't let her go on the phone. Dude, tell her, let her talk about that. Exposed. Natalie We've Kovacs. already talked about this. This is Nelly's stuff. Okay, We've already okay. talked about us. Like, we don't want to, yeah, but. More um, Nelly stuff? Yeah, so, um, yeah. yeah, so she talked about all of her relationships, and I think... To be honest, because an incident happened with um, this, like, last relationship. I don't know if Nelly wants to touch on it. No. But, okay, something happened where he did something kind of, like, really, like, petty and weird. And... Oh, yeah, that thing. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, he did something very petty and weird, and it was public. And that kind of... You know, people do things that they've been thinking about, right? Like, you don't just say something publicly... If you haven't thought that for a while, you know what I'm trying to say here? Like you don't just randomly pull the shit out of your ass and you're like, oh, you just post something like this. You've been thinking about it for a while. So I think that if if a, someone feels some type of way like that, like you did not want to be in that. Yeah, that you know was I mean? that was so weird of him. That to one do, hurt. Right. Yeah, because it's like whether it's true or not, like it, it, you're not you just don't make people feel that way. Anyways, so because that happened. Obviously, I've never met him or anything, but um, because of that, that just gives you a how this person really is. Yeah, you know that, I mean? that gives me like an I automatically disapprove of this person. I don't care your intentions like, or nothing. We had been friends for a long time and he never acted like that. Not even with like his ex girl When he was your friend? Yeah, like when we oh, were just friends. Shoot. We were friends for like, we like two years. I think yeah, that all that all comes from jealousy. Like there's envy or something that he has against course, you. Of course. Of course. 100%. That's 1000% the like root of that stuff. Yeah. I don't know. That's crazy. Though. That's so ugly of a guy to do. Mm. Immature, ugly. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, it was just weird all around um, that he did that. But moving forward, Nelly is not going to fold. Yeah. And she's going to heal. Yeah. You, you, yeah. He's blocked? Yeah. Last time she came over to the sleepover. <laughs> oh, what happened? We was like, the tea? What happened? I, what, what did I say? I don't know. I said something and she yeah. was like, I'm going to block him. No, no. You're like, he's he blocked. And I was like, yeah. And then I explained to you why he's blocked. Damn. Yeah. Has he, has he ever tried to contact you after that or no? Mm-mm. He doesn't have like your nothing else. No. And I think that's better. I think that it's really good that she ended up blocking. Cause no, what happened the first time we hung out, you removed him as a follower. Yeah. And then you blocked him. Yeah. Yeah. Which was like amazing because you know i think you need to heal. I don't know. He feels, so I don't I'm not going to say like he needs to heal. It but took a I lot think- of balls to block him. Cause I could not. 
Do you, I've I've never blocked anyone in my life. Do you know if he has a new girl yet? I don't think so. Because when we got together, he would welcome me at 24-7, and now he just walks with his friends. Oh, that was oh, cool. caught her up. Nah, I, you see, you yeah, be looking. she'd be looking. You be looking. Oh, yeah, 100%. She's still <laughs> healing. I'm kidding. I don't look at you. You think he's watching this? I don't he, think so. He 100% is. 100%. <gasps> you think so? Everyone's going to send it to him. Yeah. Oh, I hate high school. I hate high school. High school's Never. crazy. I'm going to get canceled for this. Oh, I hate high school. Nelly's going to get caught up to the principal's office. Delete this now. Nah, for real. Uh, he ain't gonna fuck himself. I'm not it was it. not from, from from my school. It was, they go to a different school, guys. Oh, it was on a field trip that I saw him. <laughs> Damn, no, this podcast is not coming down. Sorry. Never. You gotta you gotta give us a fat fat I gotta check. Get, I gotta get ninety percent of this video and it will never go down. The cut. <laughs> the cut. <Shut laughs> so dumb. Anyway, so those are relationships, right? That that you have been through. Mm-hmm. So now let's talk about friendships. So have you ended any friendships lately? Friendships? Have I ended any? Hmm. Uh, as of lately, I don't end friendships. I just go ghost on people because it's just, if I don't text first, they'll never text me. And it's just like, it gets annoying having to always be the first, the person that texts first. And it's like, hey, how are you? This, this, and that. And it, the only relationships are, I keep are the people who come hang out with me at school or text me outside of school. If you don't text me or hang out with me at school, I'm not going to keep that relation, that, that friendship, you know? So you just go ghost. I go ghost. For so have you gone ghost on anyone lately? Mm, yeah. Or do you think your circle's pretty strong now? My circle's pretty strong. The people I have right now are the people I've always had. Oh, Since like interesting. Oh. But I feel like, I feel like that's like, that's a different mindset for me. I have, I have friends, but I don't text them every single day, and they don't have to text me every single oh, day. No, they don't have not, to text first. Like that, but like they won't text me for like months, like like for like a pretty a good a good year if I don't text. It first. just depends because Jake, you're also an adult, you know, and she's like a freshman, and like it's when people text. Like in that age, oh, when you're, you're right. in high school, like if you're not texting your friends, it's because you don't care about your friends. You know what I mean? Because like, they're no, just younger. Also, I don't I don't feel like you should te- have the need to text your friend. It's just like that. That recent checkup, you know? It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh, and I hey, agree. Like, yeah, and I think when you become an adult, that changes. But right now, you're so young that that's still the norm mm. for your age group. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, now, moving forward. <laughs> what am I going to get attacked Let, with now? Let's let's move on to the, the sister topic, right? <laughs> so, you know, you have an amazing sister, obviously. A bomb oh, sis- and, you have a bomb sister and, with some. Y- oh, gosh. Okay, so, you have an amazing sister. <laughs> what? It does too low. Oh, um, you have an amazing sister, right? So, would you? What would you say are the pros and the cons of having me as your sister, as mm. Natalie Cuevas as your sister? There's Crickets. no way you went quiet, huh? <laughs> Crickets. Ain't Crickets. no way. There's so many pros. Okay, pros is that you 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 weren't like that goody two shoes, so I can talk to you about stuff like that. Yeah, like at, uh, from school and stuff, and I'm not scared of you like telling my parents and stuff. Um, like it's just like you're cool, but the bad thing is you have a really bad attitude. <laughs> We're supposed to talk about following <laughs> here. This isn't like a personal thing. It's like <laughs> when you go to school, what's the good? What's the bad? What do you mean? Like pros? Here you go. Let me help you out with here. So pros is she has an established um career on YouTube, so I can give no, you the tips I don't care. and the the the. What do you mean you don't care? I was able to tell you all the tips. Like I taught you how to edit. Like, like you can like, learn oh, from her. You can like learn from everything, like, right? Like yeah, yeah. you have like personal life. No, like that's why I said Natalie. Natalie Cuevas, Cuevas not your uh, sister. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Definitely the editing part, and then because I would not be able to learn how to edit. I'm a little slow. If it, you haven't learned, it, it's just a little bit hard to start with YouTube if you don't have help in Dude, the area. It is. Yeah. Yeah. If you I don't, don't know how y'all started. Period. Y'all are some boss queens. I learned a lot from that. That's why having Natalie Cuevas as a girlfriend is so important to me because she has, she has the smartest, like the smartest decisions in her head, and she changes up things so quickly. So I'm learning from all of this stuff. I have something she planned. She's omniscient. Memory. What word. the fuck is omniscient? You know all know all knowledge. Omniscient. Oh. And then omniscient. omnipotent means you have all power. She's um, also ambitious. Huh? Okay, continuing. <laughs> so, what are the negatives? The negatives of having you like famous or like that you are Natalie Cuevas. Every um, hmm. that I'm just known as. Oh, that's Natalie Cuevas' sister. Oh, it's so like a shadow. Uh, yeah. Like Charlie's sister. Yeah, I would. I that would yeah, know. bro. People are so mean to that too. Which I think that's so wrong. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like she's created a, a good brand for herself as well, and yeah. so have you. Period. 
Because I feel like, look, you can have the most famous sister in the world and you can have the platform that you have, but it's not going to be a platform that you can like thrive off on if you don't keep it up. Yeah. You have yeah. to put the work in. You have to put the work. And I see, honestly, you're putting so much work in it. I can see yeah. it. Dude, last month was my soccer season and I posted more videos than I posted in a normal month. Period. Dude, yeah. school school, and doing social media, if you do the both of those things, it's the hardest thing in the world. It is it so, is. so, so, Like you have so to prioritize hard. one. Did you get good grades last year? Or like... I did. I caught up at the last... At the last I got all A's and one C in the math, the math class that we don't like. So... Moving on to strict parents. So how how is that? Like how is because so I grew up in that household, but like ten times worse yeah. than what it is mm-hmm. now. So I know what it's like and everything, but I want to know what it's like from your position now. Obviously, like I have opened the doors to the YouTube headspace. So like now my parents understand that you know you gotta go out to film, you gotta do this to film. Um, which was super, super, super hard to get them to where they are now, but they're not necessarily the most lenient even now. Um, obviously, they've, you know, loosened up a lot, but they're still strict. So, like, we have, like, we have so much trouble, like, getting together. Like, oh, yeah. if you guys Today knew. Today I got yelled at. Oh, my God. If you guys knew how hard it is for, like, Nelly to come over, it's just difficult and it's arguments and it's just too much. So, how is it in your eyes? Um, definitely compared to when you lived with us, they are a lot more lenient. Um, like for example, whenever I want to go like with my friends, like they let me here and there, like maybe once every like month, más o menos. Or if she knows the people I'm going with, she lets me go out with them more often. Like, um, my court, she loves my court, she, besties, bestie westies at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, so she lets me go with them. Like if we want to get pizza, we'll we'll like stay at the place we're doing at the thing we just order the pizza to the house um but like even going out with you guys like you or edith or any of them they're definitely like a little more strict i wonder why if we're like your own family I don't get it i don't know couldn't pay but me like, to get it yeah maybe it's because like uh i don't know because we stay a little late like what time is it on you yeah yes good morning it's 9 30 p.m but still i feel like you're this is like a career if you want to take this path it's a yeah. career for you it's yeah. definitely a w that you like unlock youtuber for me because like i can say oh i need to go film and she'll let me go out yeah that's so smart so since you could say that stuff what do you have planned for your career like on youtube what are your next goals what like goals as in like what i want to like milestones and what you milestones. what you want to achieve I for this year hit that 100k because i feel like i'll feel so so successful you'll get a plaque really yeah you'll get a plaque <gasps> Yeah, I you get a plaque. I want to get the plaque before my birthday. Well, not the plaque, but like at least a hundred k. Yeah, I you will get the plaque before your birthday. Well, yeah. They literally take, take like two fucking months to ship that shit. <laughs> but um, you might. Um, get I'm sure you'll hit it. Yeah. So your you plan is just to get the hundred k. You don't have any like financial plans, like maybe financial plans? wanting to oh, lease yeah. a car, I buy am, a car. Or I am. I'm, I have my savings account, and like I have like because in my savings you can put like sections, like what you want to save into. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I have. So I'm like saving up for like future plans like insurance stuff like that because i definitely oh, that's wanna, so smart i definitely want to get a car as soon as like as soon as i can you, i think i think you should I get your you license getting a car not a car i want to throw i'm a malona <laughs> you're getting a truck <laughs> yeah <gasps> you had said you were gonna use my mom's car i was oh but when you when you, you get, a car, get a car when you get a car i'm not getting a car my mom's getting a car and then she was like if you want you can like we can have these and then you can have the car oh she's scamming don't do that, Scam, don't dude, do that bro don't she's do that. scamming you don't do that um, I think the smartest move for you is to use the cruise because you have it. Like, I wish that I would have had access to that freaking mm-hmm. car. So, like, a lot of people would always be like, oh, like, why don't you use, like, your uh, mom's car? So, at that time, it was in my mom's car. It was Edith's car. That's the reason I couldn't use that car, and that's the reason I was forced to buy a car was because there was no other car. It was that car and the Tahoe. And the Tahoe's, like, Mm, you, Dude. I couldn't. And even because touch of it. that, I because of that because you weren't given the like a super easy path. I think that's why you're like the way you are, and, like how successful yeah. you are. Yeah. Well, I needed to get a car. Like I had to fight to get that damn. You had car. the hardest path out of everyone I know on social media. Yeah, but you know what? It just teaches you a lot. So now, like, I think my advice to you is like, don't get a car payment. Like legit. Like if you're able to save that money. Say, also, so if you use my mom's cruise, that cruise is what 2018. The insurance so will be so much yes, cheaper, dude. So much cheaper, dude. So much yeah, cheaper. Yeah, I don't want to get a car until, like, I, like, can. Like, you know, like. Yeah, I get you. Like, mm-hmm. I think that if you are able to whip around the cruise at least till your senior year, because you're barely a freshman. Yeah. Like, you are young, bro. You're 14. So if you, instead of getting a car payment at, like, 14, mm-hmm. use the cruise. Like, that car is good. 
save up your senior year when you're like 17, 18, that like at that point, it's like you can decide, hey, I want to get a car or Definitely get an I, apartment. I you know what I mean? I want to get a car by senior year. I want to be like, I want to be that baller. Oh my god! I don't. I think. See, I think that's a that's a bad thing to be that's like the to be issue. to be showy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's yeah. the, that's the but biggest it's issue. Like not, I want, no, but I understand I where expen- you're coming from because you didn't come from money. Car. Yeah, you didn't I come from money an though. Car. I just want to be like be able to say, "Oh, it's my car. Like I pay my own bills. Like yeah. it doesn't even have to be like a, a truck or anything. It just has to be like my own car. Because then you can be like, "Oh yeah, I got my own car." Yeah, for yeah. that there's pros and cons, but I feel like I don't know. Just, I just don't be a showy. Be smart. Don't be yeah, show- just uh-huh. be smart about it. And I think that if you want to definitely get your own card to have your um, like goals and stuff, definitely mm-hmm. go ahead and do it. Just be smart about, you know, when you get it. Don't put a payment on yourself that you can't like handle because it gets, mm-hmm. dude, things get tight so fast and it's alarming how fast they get. Um, mm-hmm. Don't ever buy a card with anybody. Get it yourself. Um, if you want to, honestly, you're at the point where you can even skip the apartment phase and just go straight into a house yes. because now we can help you. Like I didn't have that help. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So for me, it was like, I was forced to go to an apartment because I couldn't get a house because of, you know, like taxes and all this shit. But like now you have so much information. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you have like resources and like all that stuff that now you're able to do. It's just so much better when you're the younger sibling. I literally, it's like awesome that. You know, I was able to be where I am without the resources, but being the younger sibling, you just have so many more doors, which is freaking amazing. And it's like, you know, you have your siblings for help to whereas like for me, it was just the complete opposite. But it's cool because now I can help you and, and Tito. I mm-hmm. think I think you should always ask more questions, too. Even if you don't want to know something or like if you're if you're curious, ask a question to Nat or something, because she's she knows everything. Yeah. I think that I think okay, that there's a answering. lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, though. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of, of growth and stuff, but yeah, so that's your, that's your plan. You yeah. want a car for senior year. That's, that's your, that's goal. a good plan though. Yeah. Yeah. I, or not like at the beginning of senior year, maybe like the end of senior year. I want to be able to like, to be, like uh, get my own car. And then as soon as that, I want to either like move, I want to move out. Regardless, being able to buy your own car is such a, such a good thing, especially as a, what, a senior, as a senior in yeah. high school. That's good. That's so, so good. Like a good yeah. placement in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. That's a, Yeah. You're in a good place to mm-hmm. do something like that. All right. So that is going to conclude today's podcast, guys. We are very, very thankful we were able to get our little guest here. It costs um, half of our budget, y'all. Yeah, Literally, guys. we're about to go get screamed at when we take her home right now. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We or me. We. We all get the shit end of a stick after this. <laughs> oh, my gosh, guys. I wish we could go into more details. But yeah. um, we are going to go chop Nalai off. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And thank you so much to Nalai for being on the podcast. Thank you so much. We are, we are a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you on our podcast. Let's see how badly flamed I get. <laughs> no, I, I think it'll be fine. But anyways, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the best podcast in the world, a.k.a. Jadot And now, we will see you guys next Thursday. Bye. That's the beginning! (laughs) Bye! Bye!